Hello everyone and welcome to MATLAB Helper's live webinar on phase detection and counter. So the basic idea of this webinar is to make you aware of the technologies around you and this being a very simple application of image processing using MATLAB, we'll be covering this application in the webinar. MATLAB as you all know is a numerical computing environment and proprietary programming language developed by MathWorks and its typical uses include math and computation, algorithm development, modeling, semilink and prototyping. There are various application development uh, based on math MATLAB which includes graphical user interface building, data analysis, exploration and visualization. So we'll discuss an in-depth approach to the image processing problem of uh, detecting a face in a video and also learn to code. For all our viewers, you can check the description box for the link to the blog on face counter from where you can directly download the code, learn and execute along with me. And meanwhile, if you have any queries, you can comment down in the chat section below. Our support team will answer your questions quickly and for measure queries, we'll be having a question and answer session at the end of this webinar. To start the image processing part, you will have to install two hardware support packages. I'll just open my MATLAB. So as you can see in the home tab, in the add-ons section, you can find get hardware support packages. Clicking on it will open an add-on explorer pop-up. While the add-on explorer is opening, let me walk you through a few basics of image processing. Guys, as you all know, image processing is the blooming process in the industries, machine learning and artificial intelligence applications. Well, image processing defined as analysis and manipulation of a digitized image, especially in order to improve its quality but we are going to use this, use the tracking algorithms in order to detect structures. And in this application, we'll be detecting the face. As you might be aware of the fact that MATLAB Helper is an organization providing programming expertise with assistance to students, professionals, and researchers. We help form MATLAB MATLAB basics to advanced MATLAB codes and simulating projects which includes IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, image processing and many more. So here is the add-on explorer window. In the left panel you can see image processing and computer vision toolbox. So to categorize the add-ons you just click on this button. You have to install two packages. One is the USB webcam and other is the OS generic image acquisition toolbox support package. Basically, as the name suggests, the first one is for the USB connected webcams and the second one is needed for users which are using the laptop's inbuilt webcam. To avoid any sort of confusions, we can download both these packages as they would be required for other applications too. Now, since you can see I have already installed these packages, I won't be covering the part on how to install these packages. But if you guys have any difficulty in downloading these packages, you can visit the blog on our website which demonstrates, demonstrates a step-by-step -step guide on how to install add-ons in MATLAB. You can find the link to this blog in the description box. If you have any queries related to the installation process, do comment down in the chat section below. And if the time permits, we would cover the installation part at the end of this webinar in the question answer session. If you do not install these support packages, you would get errors while executing the code like the webcam not found or the adopter name not found or so. 
Remember to check with these support packages if you get any such errors. As we are done with the add-on portion and now to begin with the actual face counter portion, let us first see a video which shows the output of the very famous Hall of Faces video from Game of Thrones. You guys might have seen the teaser video which we had shared earlier on Facebook and Instagram. Let us see the output to understand the exact problem statement and then quickly we'll start with the coding part so that you can experiment it yourself on more favorite videos of yours. So here it is. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. I've won every battle, but I'm losing this war. Show them how it feels to lose what they love. Everyone is mine to torment. The long night is coming. And the dead come with it. Okay, so after watching the video, I think all of you would want to know how we did it. So are you guys excited? Come on then, let's get started with the coding part. So here you can see the code on my screen by the name facerecord.m. So guys, this is the code where you can fed with any video and can get the significant face detection results for it. I'll, I will also discuss the live camera portion wherein you can take the fed from your webcams and then detect faces as well as count them. Let us begin. The first line of the code as you all know is, is a standard and a good practice to start writing the code. CLC, clear all and close all. Where CLC cleans the command window, clear all cleans, clears all the workspace variables from any previous code and close all terminates all the open figures in MATLAB. Next, we have the initialization section wherein we read the video from a .mp4 file and save it to a variable with object. We then set the starting time in seconds to select the frame from which processing should start. So as you can see here, with object dot current time equals to four. This is used for capturing frames from video and it will start after four seconds. In the next line, you can see vision dot cascade object detector uh, function. This is the cascade object detector that uses the Viola Jones algorithm to detect people's faces, noses, eyes, mouth and upper body. So it's basically used to find faces by default. Next we call the multi object tracker KLT function which is the main function that enables us to detect multiple faces at the same time. This is the very important part of the algorithm where you want to detect more than one face in a single frame. There are a lot of algorithms which can detect the face but in a majority of the algorithms only one face is detected at a time. We next move to the video player deploying part. Here the vision.deployable video player. This is the object used to display high definition images at a higher frame rate.
Now comes the iteration section which uses a while loop and continues until a phase has been detected. So this is the while loop and it will continue until a phase has been detected. Each frame as you can see is converted to a grayscale image before processing it for the phase detection algorithm and guys once the phase is detected the loop terminates and to track the detected phase pounding boxes or B boxes as you can see in the code are used. Initially the frame value is 0 and to keep the player running we need to have the variable keep running equals to true. The frame number equals to 0 and to keep running the player we have to add keep running variable equals to true i hope this part is very much clear and if you have any difficulties doing it along with me or you're not understanding any step comment in the chat section and we would take up all your queries in the question answer session Next section is the main loop portion to track and display the results and push each frame to the video player for the users to see them. Here again, we have a while loop to check whether the video player is running or not. As you can see, the while loop will check the keep running function which we have defined in the prior lines. Now this while loop will check whether the video player is running or not and if it's running it will again undergo similar steps of phase detection until the faces along with the bounding boxes are recorded and once this is done we push the frame to video player using the display frame variable. So again the RGB to gray function is used in order to process the faces. The faces are redetected and all the data is stored in frame comma B boxes array where B boxes are the bounding boxes. Now to display uh, the notations on frame we use the display frame variable. Now here you can see in this line we insert the object annotation or the bounding boxes over the detected frames. In the next line we insert the markers like the small plus symbols which you might have observed in the Game of Thrones video output to add the count of people or faces. We use one or more annotation in order to count the length of tracker.box IDs which will show the number of people in the frame. Now this is when the if condition is true that is when a face is detected but what if there is no face detected the code would stop running don't you think so if this part of the code is left to be return addition addition of else loop is important in order to function when there is no face detected so as you can see in the code this is the else loop which we are talking about it simply displays the frame as it is without the annotations. We add the detections frames comma B boxes array and loop it until the player is closed. At the end of the loop, we also add the frame number in order to fetch next frame and to keep the player running we used keep running variable equals to true last comes the part where we can 
clean and release the graphic resources which we had initialized in the beginning of the code which includes the video player and the video reader. So this line releases the video player and clear with object releases the video reader. Tada! Here we have completed the major coding part. You guys can download the code and visit the blog on face counter on our website from the description link below. If you have any queries or are facing any difficulties while executing this code or understanding the code, you can comment down in the chat section below and as I said or as I already said, we take up all the queries at the end of this seminar in the question answer session. Let us execute the code and watch the results and meantime, let me tell you more about MATLAB helper. MATLAB helper is an organization which helps students and professionals complete their academic research work and projects. If you want to make more such interesting projects but don't know where to start, we can help you to complete them. We provide innovative solutions for all of your problems and have a strict policy against plagiarism. We have hit the target for even the most complex projects. So here is the very famous and interesting Game of Thrones video of Hall of Faces where our code is detecting the faces. As you can see, the code takes each frame and processes one frame at a time. So the overall speed of the video is quite low. Let's wait for the actual results. Since, the, since it's taking a frame by frame processing, since the code takes each frame and processes one frame at a time, so you can see the overall speed of this video is quite low. But here comes the interesting portion where the features are getting detected slowly and set steadily. As the face is coming out of the dark, more number of faces are getting detected. You can see the features are getting detected as and when the face is coming out of the dark. And in the left top corner, you can see one people in the frame which shows the count of faces detected in this particular frame. Let's wait for the video to proceed. Here is another phase detecting all the features. Isn't that interesting? Here you can see few false detections also occur. This is due to the limitation of this algorithm. It uses just the facial parameters to detect the face like uh, like the eyes, nose, ears and so. So basically it uses the upper body portions to detect a face. And if the algorithm detects something that matches to these features, then the false face is detected. Here you can see three people in the frame.
and since this part looks similar to some facial expressions it is getting falsely detected So here you can see six people in the frames are getting detected. Let us try this algorithm on one more video. So here is the famous, the social, here is the famous video from the social network movie. So let me run the code. So as you can see, three faces are getting detected and in the top left corner, you can see three people in the frame is getting annotated. Again, you can see one people in the frame. Even though it's a blurred part and the features are getting detected very carefully, this algorithm detects all the face features like eyes, nose, ears, and everything. As you can see, there are three people in the frame again. Aren't the results astonishing? So what are you waiting for? Try the code by yourself and experiment with numerous video and your favorite scenes. You can download the code from the blog on our website and find the links in the description. And if you have got any queries, comment in the chat section as we move on to the question answer section. So before moving on to the question answer section, I'll be showing you a movie scene from uh, a scene from one more movie, which is the Skyfall. And believe me, that's very interesting. Let me stop this video and play the movie scene from the very famous Skyfall movie. Let me run the code again for you. So till we move on to the question answer session, you guys can watch the output on the Skyfall movie scene. And stay tuned as we are yet to code with the face detection in the live webcam fed. As you can see, even this is a slow video as a frame by frame process takes place and there's a, there's a video or the scene from the movie Skyfall wherein a lot of action is going on in the scene and a lot of faces are coming into picture. So you can see only the faces which are facing the camera which has those features like you can see the eyes, nose and mouth are getting detected. So isn't that very cool? You can see two people are getting detected in this frame wherein one is a falsely detected uh, face. So as you can see four people are getting detected in this frame. You can experiment this thing with a lot of videos, a lot of 
uh, movie scenes or uh, you can experience this in a live fed as well so what are you waiting for get the codes and just run it on any movies it do not have any size limitations you can put entire movie into it yes you'll have to watch it in a very slow or a very you know boring man but yeah this thing is making it more interesting as you can see the faces are getting detected and in every scene you will find something new so guys till we move on to the question answer session you guys can watch this skyfall uh, scene and if you have any queries you can comment down in the chat section as you all know uh, that matlab help provide documented codes as per industry standards and reports as per the guidelines so we believe in learning and emphasis the understandability of the task accomplished we understand the value of time and deploy strict deadlines as well so guys meanwhile you are watching this video i hope you have already seen the blog on our website the link for this blog are given in the description box below you can download the codes and run it by yourself on any movie or any scene any favorite part which you each which you want to run this code on so before moving on to the question answer session i'll just quickly stop this part and also play the very famous game of thrones video again for you guys to see a fast forwarded version of that video because that is very interesting and that is the place from where we got the idea of hall of faces and why not detecting those faces using our algorithms so you can just watch the video enjoy the video and i am coming to meet you guys just in couple of minutes see you there the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword i've won every battle but i'm losing this war Show them how it feels to lose what they love. Everyone is mine to torment. The long night is coming. And the dead come with it.
okay so guys uh, this is the code for live camera part which i had mentioned earlier and in this part you can see we have a variable wed object uh, and in the previous code we had compared or we have given the value i'm just comparing both the codes as both the codes are very much similar we have given it a value of video reader like we will be we were reading a dot mp4 file like the name of the file was skyfall and in the live camera fed we'll be using uh, the variable like we'll be getting the data from a live capture live feed or a live camera so we'll be using a webcam variable over here like the webcam function over here rest of the code is same except for one more thing like you'll have to change on line number 14 in the previous code you might have seen there's on line 15 frame rgb equals to read frame which uh, reads the uh, each frame from vid object and in live camera we just have to change it with snapshot you have to change it in three more places uh, like this is one place uh, going down on 27 and then below that on 58 so let us see the output of this live camera fed so let me quickly share my screen or share the results so here you can see the code is working on live fed or as well and my face is detected along with my eyes nose and lips so you can see all the features are getting detected and even if i hide half of them my face is entirely getting detected and in the left top corner you can see the number of people in the frame so you can actually get the count of uh, people in the frame so it's one people in the frame let's do some more interesting things let me see if you if if i walk here and there my face is even you can see my face is getting detected right now so isn't that interesting Come on guys, uh, what are you waiting for? Try it by yourself today and download the code from the links given in the description box and try running it yourself on any of your favorite movie scenes. And if you have any queries, just comment down in the section below. We have one more query uh, which I found, which is asked by Tejasvi and she's asking how to compare two same images in two different backgrounds so uh, i have no idea what exactly she's asking for but uh, as far as uh, what i can get from this question is uh, she's asking for uh, how to compare two same images like are you asking for two same faces you can just quickly comment down in the chat box So this algorithm can detect the faces okay so Tejas is saying yes and uh, so yes you can detect the faces actually uh, this algorithm only detects faces so even if there's a photo besides me of my face it will detect it as two people in the frame I hope that uh, answers your query Tejas if you guys have enjoyed the video uh, do comment down uh, in the section in the chat box and we also have a feedback link in the description box so you can give your valuable feedback in this part uh, it's mlhp.link slash feedback so we have one more comment what happens if both faces are same uh, so yes Gautam 
uh, will it show as two images yes gautam it will be uh, as this algorithm only detects the faces and does not identify them separately that's the reason it will be detecting both the faces and it will be showing two people in the frame instead of saying one people so these are the limitations of this code as only the face is getting detected and not the person are there any more queries do comment in the chat section below and i hope that uh, answers your question to gautam okay guys so if you have any feedback uh, do mention it in the mlhp.link/feedback link and hope to see you soon bye bye